So let's look at a code build workflow. So the first thing is you're gonna have to trigger code build somehow. You could do that via, via the AWS console, the CLI, the SDK, or the most common use case is that it's gonna be part of your code pipeline and after it pulls a source, it's gonna pass that onto code build and that's how it's gonna get triggered. Uh, when you uh, set up code build, you have to set up a build environment and AWS uh, has some uh, pre-built managed images for you. So they have an Amazon Linux 2, Ubuntu, and Windows Server. Uh, if they don't have the things that you need installed on them, then you have to provide a custom image, which is a Docker image. And you would normally uh, store this in ECR, Elastic Container Repository, um, where you'd upload your image and you could reference it from that. You could uh, reference from other uh, Docker uh, storage like Docker Hub, but you're probably gonna use ECR. Um, the next thing is the source code. So uh, you need to get source code into that build project um, so that you'd have to use a source provider. Um, so that could be from CodeCommit, GitHub, Bitbucket, or et cetera. It's, you probably could also just pass along the code. So you see how there's like no source? So you could have no source. And as the, uh, the build script triggers, it could then just use the internet and pull from there. But generally you want to provide a source provider. Uh, and speaking of like how we're going to run our build, that comes down to that build spec YAML file. And this is generally part of your code base. So, um, you know, when you pull in that uh, your code from the source provider, this file would be in that your root uh, directory there. And it's going to talk about or it's going to tell you all the commands that need to be run. Uh, but one thing I want to tell you that even if you have a build spec file, uh, with your project, you can override it uh, with uh, uh, other build commands, which is very important for you to know for the exam, because they might bring it up saying like, hey, you have this build spec file, but you want to override it, how can you do it? So it's like, well, I'll use the CLI for that. So hopefully that gives you kind of an idea about the code build workflow.